Hey guys, this is Chief JS here. Welcome to Snake 3K. The reason I say that is, check this out. We are going to do some stats and we're going to go to 999. That's right, I am one victory away from Snake 3000. And 3000 victories it will be in just a second. Anyway, uh, this video is going to be me getting 3000 wins. Followed by me being excited because I do have the world record for win-loss ratio. And then I'm going to show some advanced strategies and a kill move that works almost every single time. So let's get this started. Alright, I'm on Anaconda. Now some people hate this map. I love this map. Um, it's nice and small. I do have my hand on F5 the whole time I play. Um, and I'm going to go right to my strategies, which I'm going to talk about in a bit, which is uh, play defense. I'm a defensive player in this game. I use the uh, super kit, and I like to play defense in the beginning of the game. And then I get offensive towards the end, so let me do this and this, and sneak away from everybody. And you're also trying to capture some land as you play this, because you really got to control the board. And uh, this game's all about space and control and not making mistakes and... Trying to anticipate what people are going to do, of course, and that's just like any other video game uh, when you're playing against other players and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, down to two players, and uh, I don't think I even got a kill, but it doesn't matter, and you don't need to get a kill to win. It's actually a challenge to win around the snake without a kill is a pretty cool thing to do. It's pretty hard, and I actually think it should be an achievement, uh, winning around the snake without a kill. Not the easiest thing to do. I'm going to try it here, and let's see if I can get him to kill himself. Or maybe he'll lag out, but that's not the point. I'm just trying to get him the... To... Oh, he ran into me. And I think he did it on purpose. <laughs> I see the chat. This is for you. Uh, anyway, he did it on purpose, but that's okay, because he knew where I was at. We're chatting in the lobby a little bit. So I think that's it. That should be 3,000 wins. Uh, let's check this out. Let's see. T slash stats. Whoops. Stats. Let's check this out. And boom. 3,000 wins out of 4,348 games played. I have 1,348 losses. I have a 2.23 win-loss ratio, and I am back on top with the world records. All right, so we're uh, playing on the urban map, and I'm going to go through my strategies real quick. First of all, with Snake, you got to want to play. you got to have fun, and actually, it's an enjoyable game. I picked up Snake playing because I got so frustrated at my lack of PvP skills because I found Mindplex, my family, the kids and I, you know, Hunger Games. That's what it was all about. But I'm not that good. But, and one day I'm like, you know what? I stink. I'm going to play the exact opposite of Hunger Games. I'm going to play Snake. And about 10 games in, something clicked and I started winning. My strategy is completely different, but I started winning not really knowing that much about what I was doing. So anyway, first of all, you need a good PC. If you don't have a good PC, there's no way you can win at Snake. It just lags, and there's just nothing you can do. There's so many mobs in this that you're going to get lag. Now, there's obviously there's internet lag. Obviously, there's server lag. But, you know, if you're dealing with something that's PC lag, you're going to struggle. And, and, yeah, my game lags a little bit, but you got to fight that. And I, I don't know which one of the three it is. But anyway, you got to have a good PC. Next up, you got to play defense. I'm a defensive player. Now, I'm not going to take this away from anyone that plays offense because there are some offensive players that use Speedy Snake, and it's a very good strategy. But uh, for someone new trying to learn, trying to learn how to play, I play defense. And you can see it right now. I've got this whole area covered, which is one of my other rules, is try to capture land in this game. You need to control the board. The more part of the board you control, the better chances of winning it is. You, you have. So I, I'm, I bounce off the walls, and I go in. I never bounce off the walls. Did I just win now? It lagged out. So I'm going to bounce off the wall, control that space, and come right back out. Here I'm going to turn around again. I'm looking for where the other player is at all times. I'm also trying to figure out what kit they have. Because it's really important to know what kit the other player is using as well. So you got to know the kit of the other player. And whoa, that was close. So that's what I've been doing, trying to control the board. Now he's pretty good. I don't know who's this. High on water. Pretty good player right here. So now I'm trapped a little bit. So i got to make a move out of here. And this is not good. This is not good. I just squeezed played right there. I'm going to probably have to go for some sort of a kill move here uh, to get this to happen if I'm going to want to win. And we'll see if we can sneak through here. It's a pretty good game right here. Uh, there he is. Okay, so I'm going to just stick around here. I don't know where he is, but he's pretty good. This guy's doing pretty good, so control the board. And the other thing is you got to stay out in the middle, especially at the beginning of the game. You'll notice every single time I play, I go straight for the wall. I never go to the middle. And I just did him with the move, the kill move. 
So that's the kill move, which I was going to show later. You have your supers, and see, he's like, oh my god, how? Uh, <laughs> and you have your supers. I had both of them. I hadn't used either of them. And you basically try to run into someone and use it. The other way is you try to trap them into a channel, which is what I've done on the other uh, videos that I already pre-recorded a whole bunch of times me doing it to show that move. But it, it's almost an instant kill move every single time. All right, so next round, we're back on Urban again, it looks like. And I'm going to go through my strategies again. Number one, you need a good PC. Number two, you got to play defense. I don't play very offensively. I'm very defensive in the beginning. Number three, stay out of the middle. Let everyone else go in the middle. You stay near the ends. See that guy in the red right there? That's one of my other strategies. Know what kit people are using. Guy in red, red sheep dude, has speedy kit. So I'm watching that because I know he's going to try to cut me off and try to go for the kill. Uh, so we got that. Stay out of the middle, play defense, uh, have a good PC, watch the kits other people use. I get aggressive at the end, but before I do that, I try to control the board. I see where other people are. I try to control the board. Yellow is also using speedy, as you can see right there. So we're going to keep away from the front of yellow. And if you go in the middle, that's where they're going to kill you. So the speedy people will try to kill you and use that against you in the middle and stuff like that. So it looks like it might be me and yellow coming down to the end here. Because it looks like a pretty... Oh, there's a black one too. There's three of us left. Oh, yellow's gone. I didn't even notice that. So anyway, here we go. We're going to... Uh, Start taking control here. I got the board, and I try to leave room so I can always turn around when I'm going down the sides, as you can see. So uh, that's what I try to do. So I'm taking more space up here. Purple, so, okay, now I'm down to two people, myself and uh, Bo spamming. I guess he likes spamming bows. And I'm going to try to cut him off right here. So I'm just playing it easy. you got to figure out how good a player is. So I will say this, the better the player, the smarter they are. And the harder it is to, to beat someone straight up with these strategies. So there are about 25 professional snake players that play. And I'm going to be honest, there's no best snake player out there. I don't believe there's any one person that's, I'm the best at snake. I think the 25 players can kill each other any given time, any given day. And I tried to use the move on and it didn't work. But uh, they're all really good and they're all very competitive. And it's a lot of fun. And different kits are used. All right, so now I know what kit he used. It was super. But I guess he killed himself and got stuck. So anyway, uh, that's it. Simple strategies for how to win at Snake. Uh, you need all that to make it work. A good PC. You got to play some defense. You got to stay out of the middle. You got to watch the kits that other people use. Uh, you got to control the board. Have control space. Make sure you can always turn around when you come off of a wall. Come off of a wall, bounce off of it, and make sure you're able to turn around. And finally, get aggressive at the end and try to go for the kills and stuff like that. So next up is going to be my kill move, my essential move that I use to make these great kills and make people shake their heads and get really mad. Um... I don't do it all the time, but when it's set up and it's there for me to use, I'm going to do it. Um, and it's kind of fun. I will say this. The pros that I play against, my friend Master of Death, who has over 9,000 wins, uh, the world record holder in wins and kills, uh, he can get out of it almost every single time. He knows when it's coming. I know when it's coming. But uh, it works pretty good. So uh, next up, uh, the kill move. All right, so your Nether Star or your Super Snake Kit gives you invincibility. You get two Nether Stars a game. You can use it as an offensive move or as a defensive move. Defensive is obviously to get yourself out of trouble, but offensive is obviously as an attack move. Here I'm going to use it as an attack move. I'm going to purposely run right towards the guy, hit the Nether Star, and hopefully he'll run into me, which he did. So there you can see pretty easy kill move using the Nether Star, purposely doing it, and what would have happened if he missed? I would have just kept going around that channel there if he had gotten out and had another star, but I didn't think he had it. So it worked pretty good. Now a professional is going to see that and know it's coming and probably be able to block it themselves if they have the Super Snake kit as well. So here's round two. I'm trying to build a channel and have the guy go in it so I can use the Nether Star and trap him and come at him from an angle that he can't see kind of over his shoulder. I could see him. He probably couldn't see me if he didn't have it in F5 mode, and it worked perfectly. Uh, here's another example of it where I'm attempting to build a channel. I'm trying to get him to go into the channel that I built and trap him and do it again. And there it is. It works. It works a lot, and it works pretty easily um, for an easy win when you're down to two players. So here we go again, another example, and I'm just going to go right for the kill right there, and it worked. 
And uh, so you can see the pattern. It works a lot. It doesn't work every time. And again, a really good player is going to sense it, is going to see it, and is going to be able to defend against it. But an average player who doesn't have a lot of experience, it's going to be a pretty easy way to finish off a game and win it right there. So we'll do it one more time. And there you go. So there's all the different examples. And then we're going to have one final example right here where I really worked hard at building it a better player and uh, trying to build this channel out here. And we'll see what happens as I uh, come around. And I come around and I see him in the channel. And it didn't work that time. I couldn't get quite the channel. So now here I go again trying to get him to go into that channel, make it really long. And there's no way around it, but he kind of turned around. And we're going to come back around here and see what happens. And he's out in the open, so I'm still trying to build the channel. So it doesn't work every time. you got to get the players got to fall for the move, too. But uh, here I got him right into the channel, and I'm going to get the easy one right here. So there you go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, do other good stuff. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.